Morning. Is Liv ready? Oh, yeah, she won't be long. Thanks for giving up your visit for me today. Well, thanks for taking her. She's really looking forward to it. Try and give them a bit of time alone together, eh? Yeah, yeah, of course. Tell them I miss him. I think he knows that. You must have told him yourself, like, a million times. You just make sure Aaron knows that he's been running himself ragged trying to get everything perfect for when he comes home. He doesn't need to be bothered by that, Vic. It's good for me to keep occupied. And what's important is that everything's ready for when the appeal comes good. Me and Kasim were meant to be leaving for Australia tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, well. I don't want you to go there anyway. Full of spiders and snakes and all sorts. Would have been worried sick about you. Yeah, well, I wanted to go. Now all I've got to look forward to is being alone forever. Oh, put the violin away. You're well rid of that creep. We should be out celebrating. Hey, I'll take you down the pub. It's easy for you when everything's perfect with Rebecca. He's not the only bloke in the world. There's plenty more fish in the sea. Mm. For you, maybe. That's only because you don't know what you're looking for. You're always looking for Mr Right. And you could be having so much more fun with Mr Wrong. Uh, don't listen to him, Finn. No, don't worry, I won't. He's hardly an expert on gay romance. Hey, I've been around, you know. I remember going on a stag night with a load of lorry drivers once and finding out the next day that the best man had knickers and a bra on under his overalls. No, 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 stop there. Being a cross-dresser doesn't mean you're gay, right? Well, whatever. It shows that people have hidden depths. You never know. Scratch beneath the surface and you might find your ideal man waiting around the next corner. Hey, I'll help you look. You have to be kidding me. The Ross Barton dating site? Yeah, maybe not. Exactly. Don't let him lead you astray. I think that the last thing you need right now is another man. Oh, chill out. He just needs to get laid. I am making it my mission to find my little brother a new bloke. There was a bit of a commotion at the B&B the other day. What with Eric being nicked and... You've been thrown out. Thanks. I suppose now you're barred, you'll be moving back home, yeah? Will you? And how is your family? Brenda, I didn't come here for an interrogation. Hey. Hi. I've been worried about you. Where have you been staying? Well, I'm staying at a hotel in Hotton just so I find something more permanent. I just came back to tie up a few loose ends. Mm. What can I get you, Lawrence? Uh. Nothing. Thanks, I Your dad didn't look very happy. You OK, mate? You look completely out of it. No, I'm right, I'm right. Thanks for getting that stuff off. It's OK. I was worried you're taking too much. No, 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 no I'm right. Um, actually, um, could you get me some more? It's, it's worn off, I feel edgy. Yeah, it does that. Sorry, mate, I'm running low. I've got this visit this afternoon, you know, and if they see me like this, they'll know something's wrong, especially my little sister, you know. You want more? You're asking the wrong man. Right, well, um, uh, who do I need to ask? You're not going to like this, but Jason's the only one that deals on this wing. Once upon a time, he had a bit of competition, but he sorted them out. Can you get me something just say it's for you? No chance. If he found out, he'd kill me. Who else can I ask? He'll sell to you. It's how he wants pain you should be worried about. What, what do you mean? Look, you're gonna have to sort this out for yourself. Guess it just depends how much you want it. I was wondering if you'd had any more thoughts about our discussion. Look, I'm sure you mean well, but... I think I can find my own way through this. We all need help sometimes, and there's nothing wrong with admitting that. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of other people who need much more help than I do, so I won't waste any more of your time. <sighs> I know 
know you're only trying to help, but please don't be embarrassing. Just, just give me a chance. I'm on the boat with the, the beard. No, not gay. What? I reckon he is. Oh, well, pardon me for not taking your word for it. Even if my gear aren't exactly perfect, it's better than yours. Let's find out then. Well, what do you mean? I'll ask him. What, you can't... Ross? Hello, Sailor. Next round's on you. How come? Official congratulations for our engagement. Oh, that. What, ages ago? Well, I'm milking it. Oh, go on, then. Let's see the ring first. Um. Well, actually, we haven't got round to that yet. Ah, it's not a proper engagement until you've got a ring. Um, don't be ridiculous. We don't need a ring to prove how much we care, do we, Pierce? See you later. Well, at least you got through it without having a punch up. Why would we want to start fighting? Well, you're barging in on young farmers who are probably planning the next visit to a strip club or something. I told you they're not gay. Wrong. Even asked for a date. Really? Not with you, you minger. Don't worry, I let him down gently, though. I suppose this was... Bound to happen, though, wasn't it? This is supposed to make me feel better. Oh, don't worry. It's like when everyone tries to get with a gorgeous girl. It's usually the dumpy friend that scores with the leftovers. Look, I've said I'll help you, and I will. Are you sure we want to do this? Well, he's got something to sell. I want to buy you. It's just business, isn't it? It's your life. I start to understand how things work. I suppose that's to help me forget what you and Danny used to get up to. Can you get me some? Say please. Can you get me some, please? I can if I want, but I don't give it away. No, I'm not expecting you to. So what's it gonna cost me? I've got some jobs need doing. What kind of jobs? Whatever I say. I need it now, though, before visiting. We'll talk about what you owe me later. Uh, your sister never had time to tell me where she was moving to. Hmm? Nor do I. Cards on the table. I really want you and Dad to be happy. Maybe we'll have a chance now your sister's gone. I'm not going to try and defend some of the things that she did. That doesn't excuse your behaviour. Two coffees, please, Brenda. I want you to put a stop to this. It's too late for that. Then you leave me no choice. Dad! I'm sorry to have to tell you this, <coughs> but you got Chrissy wrong. Ronnie framed her. He tricked her into thinking that he stole the digger so that she'd report him. Do you really expect me to believe that? Your sister might stoop to those kind of tactics, but I know that Ronnie never would. Are you sure about that? Of course I am. I've known him longer than you've been born. And he's also the most decent person I've ever met. Now, I'm guessing that this is Chrissy trying to lie her way out of trouble again. And if you've got any sense, you'll drop this before you and me fall out too. Sorry, Ronnie. I'll see you later. But Dad! How have you been? Fine. Yeah, you said that yesterday on the phone, but... They're awful. What have you done to your lip there? Been in a fight? No. You were, um, yeah, just a sort of scrap. It's not serious, nothing. It's sorted now. Someone giving you a hard time? Yeah. The judge who put me in this dump. <laughs> Why don't you just tell us what's going on? Because I'm in here 24 hours a day. I don't want to talk about it all the time. I'll get some tea.
missed you. Yeah, me too. Have you started smoking again? No, no. Just give me a break, will you? Yeah, I will when you start telling me the truth. What's green do you think? I've seen that look before. Are you on drugs? I can tell you on something. Don't be stupid. What makes you say that? Maybe we should ask Paddy what he thinks. No, all right, leave on. Look, I know it was stupid, but I just... I needed something to help me through the night. Aaron, what about your appeal? Please don't tell Robert. Well, someone needs to stop you. Yeah, I know, and I promise. If we keep this between me and you, it won't happen again, I swear. Please, just promise me you won't say anything. There you go. I need to go home now. What's wrong? I can't stand another minute in this place. I hate what it does to people. Yeah, you better take a bite. Well, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I'll try and visit again, whenever I can. Yeah, all right, yeah. Cheers. I'll, um, see ya. See you, Liv. Liv. Do you want to go? <clears throat> um, I'll be along later. I want a word with Ronnie first. Things are kicking off up at home farm, it seems. Uh, yeah, Lawrence has uh, kicked Chrissy out. I gathered. Oh, I, I just wondered if you wanted another coffee. We're fine, thanks, Brenda. OK. Whatever happened must have been pretty serious to turn Lawrence against his own daughter, considering everything that he's let her get away with before. I've watched Chrissy hurt her dad too many times. He needed protecting. What have you done? Rebecca was right. I set her up. She would never let me and Lawrence be happy. She would always have been sticking her oar in if I hadn't stopped her. Do you really think that you can be happy with Lawrence knowing that you cut his daughter out of his life? I'd never forgive anyone who did that to me and Belle. You're going to have to tell him the truth. Hey, there's loads online for you to choose from, you know. Beardy bloke, sporty blokes, nerdy. Eh? That's Gary. I didn't even know he batted for your team. No, I'm not interested. Much better idea. Should cover a family trip if you get a refund. Me and you could probably both pull some talent in our beef out. Right, look, hate to disappoint, but I've decided I'm gonna go to Australia on my own. It's open-ended too, so dunno, if I like it, I might stay out a bit longer. Oh. So much for your boyfriend, Hunt, sorting him out. Uh, I did my best. No, it's not his fault. It's not up to other people to turn my life around. It's up to me. Yeah, but you don't have to go all that way to do it. It could be just what I need, though, Mum. New faces, experiences. I've told you, you can find that here if you look hard enough. Mm. And those tickets are for tomorrow. I mean, you haven't got time to get everything together by then. Right, look, guys, I've made up my mind. OK? No point trying to talk me out of it. You right? Where's Liv? Oh, she wanted to come home, so I just dropped her off at the pub. Um, I left her and Aaron to chat, like you said. And by the time I got back, she decided it was time to go. Why'd well, Aaron take that? Seemed to think it was for the best. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it was a mistake letting her go and visit. No, I think she was looking forward to going. It was in a bit of a mess by the time we got there. She did have a scrap. It was nothing serious. He's been in a fight? When was this? I don't know. And what was he fighting about? I don't know, I didn't get a chance to ask him. Maybe he told Liv, but anyway, that's why I'm here. I think something happened when I left them alone. She's probably upset that he's in danger. Yeah, except it seemed more like she was angry. Where's Rebecca? 
Oh, uh, she eventually gave up, went to her room. Chrissy's really got to her. I never wanted to cause all this trouble between you. Oh, it's not your fault, Ronnie. Quite the opposite, in fact. I'm sorry. I thought we were done with all this nonsense. Yeah, but we need to talk about it. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. And maybe... Maybe I am partly to blame. I've been watching the way Chrissy's been behaving over the past few years, and I should have seen that she was completely out of control long before now. This is just the... the final straw. But are you sure this means you have to cut yourself off from her forever? She's never going to let us be happy together, Ronnie. She's always going to be looking for some new ways to come between us. I guess it's because she can't share you. Or maybe because she never cared in the first place. You can't think that. Oh, but I do. This is all she cares about. The house. The money. Her precious inheritance. She's always worried about anything that might threaten her share. Remember how she was with Rebecca, even? Her own sister? No, no. Maybe a dose of the real world is just what she needs. Cheers. I've got a sitter for Johnny tonight. Let's go into hot. Yeah, okay. I'll ask Pierce if he's free. Oh, uh, I meant a girls' night. You never come out anymore. Yes, I do. Oh, you've not been out for ages. You need to let your hair down sometimes. Hi. Sorry I'm late. We, uh, we got chatting. Do you want to come in for a coffee? Oh, wouldn't say no. Uh, some other time, maybe. Me and Ron have got plans. Uh, That was a bit abrupt. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. I just got excited about the surprise I've been planning. Well, something certainly smells good. Yeah, I might got a bit carried away with dinner. I wanted to make it a special night. That's why I don't want company. Where's Leo? He's, um, hiding. Leo. Did you get him a new outfit? Well, I just thought he ought to dress for dinner. OK, what's the occasion? I'm going to have to ask permission before I answer that question. Leo, is it all right if I ask Mummy that thing that we talked about earlier? Good boy. I know it's all been agreed. And I just thought we ought to make it official. So... Rona, will you do me the honour of becoming my wife? Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. You sure it's the right one? It's perfect. Some fish and chips left over, and I'm guessing you haven't eaten since breakfast, so I thought you might fancy it. I'm not really hungry. I'm still upset about seeing Aaron. Do you want to talk about it? What's the point? I can't do anything about what goes on in there. Look, Robert is really struggling to get through this, and the last thing he needs is us giving him anything else to worry about. Hey. Uh. I hear the visit didn't go so well. But Paddy seemed to think you were angry with Aaron over something. I was probably just overreacting. You were angry he'd been fighting again? Uh, I'm gonna get back to the kitchen. <clears throat> you and Aaron spoke on your own for a while. What was all that about? He just, um, wanted to know how I was getting on at school. You're not worrying about anything else? Liv, I need to know what he's going through. I, I guess I was just upset about seeing him in there. But he seems to have found his own way of getting through it. Well, don't worry about it. But the appeal is he's going to be out before you know it.
back even quicker than I expected. You said I could have some more. We need to talk about your end of the deal first. I want a postman. Someone to go around the cells delivering to my other customers. Is that a problem? Is there nothing else I can do? What are you scared of, gay boy? I just don't want any trouble. So don't get caught. That's the deal, take it or leave it. I'll take it. <laughs> I knew you'd see it my way. I do one. It's bad for my reputation being seen with your lot. That's the worst job he could have given you. It'll be fine. And anyway, I don't have a choice, do I? Draw neck on the block. If you get caught, the appeal's got no chance. It's all getting very competitive tonight. Bradley Walsh is here with Frank Lampard in the new series of Play to the Whistle at nine. Next this Tuesday, though, we're going nowhere fast on the M25, Britain's busiest motorway. <laughs>